What's going on guys? Starting today's video at a little bit late as you can see the sun's already pretty much going down but the goal for today is to hopefully get both front control arms swapped under the wagon and I'm hoping the mufflers up today as well. If not today, at least this week, but today would be very nice. And then I also got a really cool piece for the front of this car if it fits, but if it does, it's gonna look sick. All right, so check this thing out. I found this today. It came off a of Golf, I'm pretty sure. And I am hoping the Mark IV Golf and Mark IV Bora lifts are the same. I don't know if they are or not, but it'd be cool if they are. Look at this thing. Look how cool it is. Much, much cooler than this boring one. So I'm hoping this fits. Like I said, this is off a V5 Golf, I believe. Um, and I think they're the same as the Bora ones. Hopefully, a little bit of damage right there on the bottom section, but you won't even see that. So this lip's a lot cooler, comes down a little bit farther, has a cool like vent thing. So I'm gonna try and test it right now. All right, so I pulled off my bore lip here. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a bit longer on the sides. I'm gonna try anyways, but seeing it like this, it does look a bit longer there. All right, so in the process of trying to make this lip fit, I think it might work, might. But look who just pulled up. Look who just pulled up. So I'm really hoping he has uh, my muffler. And he just drove off, sick. So as much as I want this lip to work, it actually doesn't. The golf flips are different. Um, if I wanted to, I could cut the tabs on this one. So it just kind of sat in there, kind of screwed in, but the sides over here are still a bit too short. So if you look at this one, compared to the, um, the bore one here, this side, the bore ones are a bit longer. And then also the, where the tab placement is, is different from this one um, to that one. So I'd have to cut some of these tabs off on the golf one to make it fit. But then again, then it's still kind of too short. So, all right, I've got my box full of parts. Let the, uh, the fun begin. I'm hoping this goes just very smooth and easy, but we'll see. So I just watched a quick tutorial on actually how to do this job and actually Autodoc actually has a tutorial for how to do control arms on a Mark IV, which is pretty cool. So I watched the video, this should be very simple. This should take no longer than I would say 20 or so, probably less than that, but 20 minutes or so per side. Should be very, very straightforward. There's a 19 for the ball joint and then I think it's all 18 for the rest of it and then I think pretty much it. But it's very straightforward, very, very easy to do. Jack up the car, pull the wheel off, we'll get started. So step one, jack up the car. With our wheel now off, I can show you exactly which bolts need to come off. So I do need to do some uh, <laughs> new uh, sway bar bushings, badly, you can see right there. But, so there's a bolt right there, that's a 16. There is a 19 on the underside of right here that holds on your tie rod. And then that one that goes through that side is 18, and the one over there in the front, 18. So 18, 18, 19 here in the front in the ball joint, and then 16 right there, and then that's pretty much it. And also probably like a pry bar to kind of pry it out of there. But overall, a very, very easy job. And then next I'm gonna do some uh, sway bar bushings because those things are toasted. And then these stock things need to go. We need some, uh, we need some cold overs ASAP. All right, first up, we're gonna do the 16 on the sway bar here. Hopefully it's not on there too tight. Okay, it's on there tight. Let me grab the breaker bar here. There it is. All right, now we should really use the impact. All right, that is that. That is out. Now we will do our 19 here in the front for the, uh, the ball joint. All right, so the next bolt going to is up here. The nut is right there, that is a 19 millimeter. You're gonna need an open-ended uh, wrench like this and probably a mallet, so I'm gonna hook onto there, hit it with the mallet, spin it free, and we're gonna get a pry bar right up in here and drop this whole entire arm down. All I know is this would be so much easier if I had a lift. One day, boys. One day we will have a lift. All right, so let's see how tight this thing is. All right, all right, you. Stay there. The trusty mallet here. Probably give it a few taps if I can't break it free. They got to spin a little bit. The guy said 19, but this seems a bit big. I think he meant 18. 
I'm gonna try an 18, hang on. All right, so I got me a different 18. I was trying to use this like crow's foot one, but this 18 actually fits um, like it's supposed to, right? That seems better. So we're gonna use this one instead. There it goes. So yes, all 18. So one 16 and then all of us are 18s. I swear the video I watched said 19, maybe I'm wrong. I swear to you, I'm not even joking, I've been turning this nut for no lie five minutes straight. And it's still not off yet. And we are still, and we're still going. We're still going. Look like at being pranked. Am I being pranked right now? What's happening? How are you not off yet? Where are you spinning? It's not spinning on the bottom, there's nothing to spin on to. What is happening? How many turns does it take? Please just get off. How are you still on there? I'm, I'm being pranked. Where's Ashton? Something's wrong here. What's happening? All right, so to my absolute enjoyment, this one up here keeps spinning, can't get off. I got the first two down here off, and if you know how this works, there's a bolt that goes through, and there's a nut that's welded to this little, like, um, little flat piece here. The one on the far side here, the nut on top, the weld actually broke, so the nut's spinning freely. And for some reason, I can't hold the top side, and the last one can't come out. So now I have this bolt that won't come out, and one more over here that I can't get out. Why is this? I'm over this job. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Keeping it 100% with you guys right now? I am. I'm over this already. My fingers are cold. My toes are cold. I don't understand why this is being so difficult. I just want the control arm to come off. And we're doing stupid stuff like this. This is why working on cars is annoying. Honestly, I'm about to get my grinder and just cut this whole thing off because this, this is stupid. This is really stupid. I am about this close to just lighting this car on fire and just buying a whole new one because this is the most annoying thing. So on this side, the top knot in the ball joint is spinning, but the entire inside of the ball joint is spinning as well. Can't get that off. The one on the bottom side over here, the 13, the top one that actually broke through from the weld is completely rounded off from somebody else before me. Um, can't get that off. My grinder is dead, so I don't have the battery. It, the charge is in the state, so I don't have the charger for it, so I have no battery. And then this bolt, I got the front one out, thankfully. Got one out. And then this bolt over here, also an 18. I've actually rounded the corners off. And I, it won't break free. I've hit it with a mallet, I've used leverage, I cannot, I've actually, look at it, I took the entire edges off. And this is an 18, I used the right size and everything, took the entire corner off. So at this point, I don't know what to do. So I don't know if it's gonna break free or not. I have no idea. This stuff over here is just, I can't, like I spun it a thousand times, the entire inside of the ball joint spinning. And the one over here, I can't get off either. So this has been, uh, this has been so much fun. Like I said, I'm about to just light this car on fire and just call it a day. Or take the car somewhere else to get inspected because this is just stupid. Like, this is dumb. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go home. I don't know what it is, but I always get the most annoying things to work on. Like, I, I just don't know what it is. I really don't. And like, this shouldn't be, like, this should be like a 20 minute per side at most. Like, I shouldn't need to have to cut things off. And like, nothing's rusted. I just can't get it to budge. And the one actually stripped the whole entire top off. I just don't know why I always get the most annoying things ever. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do now because I already all pulled apart. Well, halfway. <sighs> so annoying. All right, it's cold. It's been about, I don't know, like an hour and a half and I kind of stopped messing with that side over there. I went back and watched the Autodoc video again and they just made it look so unbelievably easy. I read the comments this time. People were like, yeah, until the uh, the ball joint keeps spinning. So what's happening to me where that nut keeps spinning with the entire, like the shaft inside, it's a very common thing. So a few people said they like, tightened it back up and worked it back off. Eventually they got it off, but I've tried heating it up. I can't get it off just yet. Um, and that one on that side is still like kind of stripped ish. But on this side over here, I'm having a little bit of better luck and I want to show you guys real quick. I already have most of the ones um, on this side off. So I got this one, brighten up, hang on. My light's kind of dying, but that one's off. The one on the front of there is off. I didn't get the um, the nut off of here, but I got the three on the bottom off. But I want to show you, so in there, so the bottom down there, there's a nut on top. Up inside here, you can kind of see, sorry, it's kind of dark. I laid my wrench 
up on top of United States. I laid the wrench up there, and that's how you have to hold it. Let's have like an angled wrench, but I don't have one. So I kind of laid it up on top of there. Sorry, it's very hard to see. It's it's in there. My light's dying, but it's over there. So this side is just about out. I had to figure out the ball joint still, but making some sort of progress. This is a nightmare to do. What an absolute mission that was. And also notice, no ball joint yet. But hey, we're making some sort of progress. Okay, so we are on the passenger side right now. I figured I would film this part. Um, that way if what I do right now works and you want to do this on your own Mark IV, you can be a little less annoyed. So, I don't know if it's not working out, but I'm gonna try. So, obviously you can see the control arm is gone. I'm left with just this thing right here. So what happens is the nut gets to a certain point and as you try and spin the nut, the shaft inside spins with it. Therefore, you can't get this off. So I'm gonna try and do what I've done is I have this little ring on the ball joint. I pop the ring off. I'm gonna try and use my vice grip here to hold this inside here so it won't spin anymore. All right, maybe I'll have to use the bigger one. I'm gonna try and hold it so it won't spin anymore and then use my, uh, my wrench there and spin it. This is dumb. This is extremely dumb. There is absolutely no reason that I should be doing all this stuff. The nut should just come off, but you know what? Nothing ever works right. Okay, there's that. So I think that should hold it, hopefully. And we'll use the... I can't tell that's, is it spinning or not? I can't really tell. Hang on, let me see. I can't see. I think I'm getting it. Oh yeah, it's working. So, this is one way to do this. If yours just comes off and doesn't spin, I mean, that would be the most ideal setup, but I read the comments and a lot of people said there spins like this, so if you can get the control arm out of the way first, and then vice grip the bottom of this, and then just wrench the top piece off, I think that's your, uh, your best bet. Unless you're not changing the ball joint out, then you don't have to do this, but I want to put the new ones in. Oh, this is so annoying. I think we're just about there. Oh, is that it? Ah, uh, too soon. Too soon, Junior. Too soon. A few more turns here. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. Whew. Okay, well. That's one way to do it if you have the same issue I did, because this, that was stupid. That was so stupid, so stupid, ugh. All right, well, I've done all I can do for today. We are at a complete standstill. I at least got the passenger side in. I was gonna show you guys how to put it back in, like the reverse steps on the driver's side, but I can't do that one today because I have two shipped out bolts that aren't gonna work. Um, but basically, I put this one back here Put that one in first and have the entire arm like over here and then swing it in and then do the back one in the ball joint um, but it's all bolted down this side's completely done over here on this worthless trash side the bolt down here on the bottom i tried again completely rounded off i heated it up i soaked it in liquid wrench completely rounded off can't do anything with that so i'm gonna have to try to go to the junk cart tomorrow and use the lift or somewhere that's gonna get cut out because there, I've, I hammered the socket on, can't do nothing with it. And also one over here, that one right there also completely rounded off, can't do nothing with it. So this side is just gonna be in here for now because like, this, this is dumb, like this is dumb stuff. Like there's no reason for that, it's just completely stupid. So stripped, stripped, both of me get cut out and then I'll put the new one in. But like, I'll have to use a lift and a, some sort of like sawzall or grinder or something like that because like this is just dumb, completely stupid. I think I started this at like, four it's like 8 30 now it's cold i can't feel my hands anymore there's always something just so stupid that you have to deal with so now i need to find a new bolt because i need to cut that one completely out of there i'm gonna try to go to the junkyard and use the lift there or maybe the um the hobby shop and use the lift but either way i need to get the car up out of the way and cut those bolts out of there because otherwise i mean there's just nothing else i can do so that's annoying and sucks and just ugh, stupid Stupid, like I said, a lot of people would like skip all this stuff and like, be, oh my God, working cars is so much fun. This is a five minute job. If all the bolts weren't like crappy and what it came out, more than likely it would be like a 20 minute per side, but the ball joints are stupid. So <sighs> if you plan on doing this to your Mark IV, I pray for you. I hope all your bolts come off like they're supposed to. If not, it can be a very, very lengthy process and I have to cut bolts off. 
Stupid. Absolutely stupid. And the bolts aren't even rusty. Like it's just torqued down so unbelievably tight. And I used liquid wrench. I heated it up. I did everything I could do. Still ran it right off. So is what it is. Stupid. Stupid. I'm so irritated right now. It's so annoying. All right, so now I must put all of the bolts back on this side, put it all back together because I have to drive the car tomorrow and so I can't go to the junkyard or somewhere to get this car up in the air and cut the bolts out. Look, it's so, it's so close. Look at that. It's so, so close to almost being in there. No lie. This just keeps, it keeps getting better and better. So I'm putting everything back together over here. And then the piece of crap garbage ball joint on this side that gets stuck and spins. Well now, when I'm trying to tighten it back up, it's still spinning, so I can't, I can't even tighten it back down. So look at this. So when I drive the car now, it's gonna feel like I'm dying because I can't tighten the ball joint back up. What kind of garbage, dude? So stupid. So everything else is tight right now, everything back together, but I can't tighten the nut down on the ball joint because the entire thing's spinning, so it's just gonna be like this. Oh my god. What kind of stupid nonsense is this? So here we have a Mark III ball joint versus a Mark IV one. Whoever decided to go from this to this is a complete idiot and you're so stupid because like this was fine. One bolt through, held it, once you pulled the bolt out, drop down easy. I don't know who designed this, but you're an idiot. Now I get that you can actually hold like a T40 inside there and spin the nut and hold it like this, but you have to pull the entire axle out to get to this. And in my case, it wouldn't matter anyways if I did that because the bolt on the body is stripped. But like, why? Why, 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 why change something and make it more complicated for no reason? I don't understand. All right, well, this has been uh, an absolute disaster. If you're still here for however long this video is, if you're still here after all my complaining, honestly, I commend you, because this, this has been a rough one. Hopefully tomorrow we can make some progress on this car once I bust out the cutting wheel and start going ham on that entire left side and hopefully get it out of there and put the new one in. Like that installation of the new one was super easy, but I just, I have two strip bolts in the most annoying places and I just can't get it out. So cutting wheel or hacksaw or I don't know something, but I'm cutting all the pieces out of there. So hopefully tomorrow we can actually get this thing done and finished and then hopefully my muffler shows up and then once that's all here and on the car, it should be inspected and good to go. But this, oh, this has been a day. Don't forget to be thankful for us today. We'll see you next time. Peace.